I wanted to know a little bit more about the seventh trumpet. And apparently the seventh trumpet is the last trumpet that will be blown from heaven. There are going to be particular events in regards of this last trumpet that will be blown. And what I did was, as I was at work, I took the verses throughout the Bible and writing them down, I seen that they were all linked together. So what I would do is I would read these verses. And by the way, you're more than welcome to share your input in the comments section below. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 51 and 52. Let me reveal to you a wonderful mystery. We will all not die, but we will all be transformed. It will happen in an instant, in the blink of an eye, when the last trumpet is blown. Those who have died will be raised to life forever, and we who are alive will be transformed. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 and 17. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead believers in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and remain on the earth will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Then we will be with the Lord forever. Have you noticed that those verses in Corinthians and Thessalonians sound just alike when it comes to this last trumpet? That the dead in Christ will rise first and then those who are alive will all be transformed. You know, they both say the same thing. Matthew, Mark, and Luke. And then at last, the Son of Man will come and will appear in the heavens, and there will be deep sorrow among all the peoples of the earth. He will be coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great glory, and he will send out his angels with the mighty blast of a trumpet, and they will gather his chosen ones from all over the world, from the ends of the earth to the ends of the heavens. Revelation chapter 10, verses 6 and 7. The angel said, There will be no more delay. When the seventh angel blows his trumpet, God's mysterious plan will be fulfilled. It will happen just as he announced it to his servants, the prophets. Revelation chapter 11, verses 15 through 18. Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices shouting in heaven, the world has now become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he will reign forever and ever. The 24 elders sitting on their thrones before God fell with their faces to the ground and worshiped him. And they said, we give thanks to you, Lord God, the almighty, the one who is and who always was. For now you have begun to reign. The nations were filled with wrath. But now the time of your wrath has come. It is time to judge the dead and reward your servants, the prophets, as well as your holy people and all who fear your name from the least to the greatest. It is time to destroy all who have caused destruction on the earth. Now, if we were to put this in chronological order, it will start in Revelation, where first in chapter 10, where the angel said there will be no more delay. And then once the seventh angel blows his trumpet, God's mysterious plan will be fulfilled. And going to chapter 11, we see that once the seventh angel blows his trumpet, there are, going to, there are going to be events in heaven that's going to take place. And right down in verse 18, before the destruction of the earth, as we have seen in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, where he will send out his angels to gather his people. And then the dead in Christ will rise and they will be transformed. So will those who are alive. They will be transformed too. Many of us has heard about these reports about these trumpets that's being sounded in the heavens uh, throughout the world. And it's becoming very mysterious. Although scientists predict or may have a discovery saying that it's something with the earth or the earth is shifting. Uh, I'm not really too sure about that. But I believe that maybe what these trumpets are are like preparations 
to get the nations ready. That's what I honestly believe it. But again, if you're you're more than welcome to share your input in the comments section below, especially with this pre-tribulation thing. I'm really not too sure about that. Kind of go off what the scripture says and the Holy Spirit reveals through this revelation. Again, you're more than welcome to share your comments uh, below. Let me know what you think. All right, guys, I hope you learned something from this and um, take care. Love you all.